Welcome to Graphic Tracer. To convert a bitmap image into vector graphics in Graphic Tracer, we must first open or paste the image into the software while in the load image mode. This time we open a file called Active Life Photo, and then we use the color picker to add the red color to the colors we want to trace. We then click Process to view which areas will become red and black. Then we click Create Vectors to convert the graphic into vector art. There's a lot of noise in the photo, so some edges seem jagged and uneven. To get a better view of the results, we turn on the View Fill option. The first setting for the trace that we will look at is one called Detail. This setting determines how closely the curves and lines will follow the edges of the bitmap image. When we increase the value and click Redo All, you can see that the black circles become uneven due to the noise in the image. If we move the slider to the left and click Redo All again, the edges will become much smoother. On the other hand, you can see that some details from the runner's face got lost. Depending upon the quality of the image, you might want to try different settings, but most of the time the default values will work the best. The next setting is Corners. Here you decide if Graphic Tracer should interpret sharp turns as corners or soft turns. When we zoom in on the runner's head, you can see that there should actually be two sharp corners, but Graphic Tracer has made round turns on both sides. We increase the corner value to 4 and click Redo All. Now you can see that the corners become sharp. The next setting is the setting for Lines. When tracing an image, Graphic Tracer converts everything into curves and lines. When we increase the value, more of the segments will be interpreted as straight lines. Sometimes it can be hard to see the difference, but when you switch to Adjust Shapes mode, you will get a better view of the lines and curves. In Graphic Tracer, lines are green and curves are red. Here you can see that many parts have become green lines, even some that should be curves. Now we retrace the whole image again with line settings set to minus 3. And when we switch to adjust shapes, you can see that there are very few straight lines in the image. A great advantage with Graphic Tracer is that you can trace different parts of the image with different settings. We opened the Wildcats logo and click Automatic to let the program select the colors and then we click Create Vectors. When we zoom in, we can see that the eye is uneven due to the noise in the image, but the surrounding parts look okay. Actually, the text does not look good, but we will fix that with the font identification tool. We select the red eye and decrease the detail to minus 3 and click Redo Selected. When you have selected objects in Graphic Tracer, only these will be affected when you change the settings and trace them again. The eye still seems to be a bit uneven, so we decrease the value to minus 4 and try again. Now it looks better. We press the space bar to show the original bitmap image. This makes it easy to see how good the trace graphic is.